I think, uh, unbelievably now, I think most of the bargains that we are seeing are in the large caps. You shameless cloner, want to track portfolios of famous value investors like Warren Buffett, see their buys and sells, current and historical holdings? Just visit valueinvesting.guru. It is valueinvesting.guru. Link in the description. I mean, one of the questions that I would ask, let's look at the size of the pool of money that you have to invest. It's bigger and bigger. And I mean, clearly in the past few years, you've had more and more moving towards businesses that are still very good businesses, but the discount is not as big. Where do you see that going forward? I mean, like, where do you see that continuing and what do you think the danger, the biggest danger is that you way of investing? Well, I think that's a good question. And I, I think, uh, I think Buffett's answered it um, a number of different ways. I think, uh, I don't know, in the copy I had on page 233, uh, famous line he has is a fat wallet is the enemy of superior investment returns and uh, I think that's true I don't think any of you in the room have to worry about that quite yet uh, you know and Buffett has said you know if you're expecting me to earn 15 percent a year going forward you know that's perhaps unrealistic even though he's been able to do quite well uh, it does get harder and it gets harder uh, you know, you know, there's a big difference. I think what Buffett has said was that if you gave him a million dollars, he could earn 50% a year still, you know, by looking at, you know, being able to look at a whole slew of different situations. He can look at 10,000 situations instead of just 1,000 at most of the size companies that now he has to buy to make a dent in his portfolio. So we should all have such problems, but I, I do think there's a difference between running 5 million, 50 million, 500 million, 5 billion, 50 billion. I think uh, the difficulty ratchets up. I think uh, unbelievably now, I think most of the bargains that we are seeing are in the large caps. So you could actually, and this is, this is probably unique to, to when I've been investing, uh, for however long I've been investing, is that I think the biggest bargains are in the large cap stocks. Uh, I'm not saying I own any of these, but the, the sort of the Walmarts, um, the American Expresses, the you know, you know, there's numerous large McDonald's. It is just a, a large amount of large companies that uh, you know have opportunities that are relatively cheap. And I would say the difference between when we were looking at some of these things, the end of 2002 and 2003, the small caps have run over 100 percent since that time. Uh, the large caps have been going down for five years. And so now, even though they were overpriced, it doesn't really mean much if they were way overpriced then, but right now, there are better bargains. I would say lower rates of return than what you would traditionally expect from small cap bargains, but higher quality businesses that you're able to buy at you know, relatively cheap prices. So I wouldn't expect you know, huge, huge returns, but I expect very good returns given the risks that, that are being taken. Steve. Uh, 